TCP injection, also known as TCP session hijacking or TCP or IP injection, refers to a technique where an attacker intercepts and manipulates TCP traffic between two parties in a communication session. TCP is one of the main protocols used for transmitting data over the Internet. In most cases, when you log into a web application, the server sets a temporary session cookie in your browser to remember that you are currently logged in and authenticated. HTTP is a stateless protocol and session cookies attached to every HTTP header are the most popular way for the server to identify your browser or your current session. To perform session hijacking, an attacker needs to know the victim's session ID, session key. This can be obtained by stealing the session cookie or persuading the user to click a malicious link containing a prepared session ID. In both cases, after the user is authenticated on the server, the attacker can hijack the session by using the same session ID for their own browser session. The server is then fooled into treating the attacker's connection as the original user's valid session. Types of Session Hijacking Cross-Site Scripting A cross-site scripting attack involves cyber criminals exploiting security weak spots in a web server or application. Cross-site scripting involves an attacker injecting scripts into web pages. These cause your web browser to reveal your session key to the attacker so they can take over the session. Session Side Jacking, also known as session sniffing. In this type of attack, a criminal needs access to a user's network traffic. They may gain access when the user uses unsecured Wi-Fi or by engaging in man-in-the-middle attacks. In session side jacking, a criminal uses packet sniffing to monitor an internet user's network traffic to search for sessions. This allows the attacker to obtain a session cookie and use it to take over the session. Session fixation. In a session fixation attack, the criminal creates a session ID and tricks the user into starting a session with it. This might be achieved through sending an email to the user with a link to a login form for the website the attacker wants to access. The user logs in with the fake session ID, giving the attacker a foot in the door. Man in the browser attack. This is similar to a man in the middle attack, but the attacker must first infect the victim's computer with a Trojan. Once the victim is deceived into installing malware onto the system, the malware waits for the victim to visit a targeted site. The man in the browser malware can invisibly modify transaction information and can also create additional transactions without the user knowing. Because the requests are initiated from the victim's computer, it is very difficult for the web service to detect that the requests are fake. Predictable Sessions Token ID Many web servers use a custom algorithm or predefined pattern to generate session IDs. The more predictable a session token, the weaker it is. If attackers can capture several IDs and analyze the pattern, they may be able to predict a valid session ID. This approach can be compared to a brute force attack. How to prevent session hijacking Follow these session hijacking prevention tips to increase your online security. Avoid public Wi-Fi. Avoid carrying out important transactions like banking, online shopping, or logging into your email or social media accounts on public Wi-Fi. There may be a cyber criminal nearby who is using packets sniffing to try to pick up session cookies and other information. Use a VPN. If you do need to use public Wi-Fi, use VPN to maximize your safety and keep session hijackers out of your sessions. A VPN masks your IP address and keeps your online activities private by creating a private tunnel through which all your online activity travels. A VPN encrypts the data you send and receive. Be alert to phishing and other online scams. Avoid clicking on any link in an email unless you know it is from a legitimate sender. Session hijackers may send you an email with a link to click. The link may install malware on your device or take you to a login page that will log you into a site using a session ID prepared by the attacker. Be aware of site security. Reputable banks, 
email providers, online retailers, and social media sites have safeguards in place to avoid session hijacking. Look out for websites whose URL starts with HTTPS. The S stands for secure. Using questionable online shops or other providers that may not have robust security can leave you vulnerable to a session hijacking attack. Use antivirus software. Install reputable antivirus software which can easily detect viruses and protect you from any type of malware, including the malware attackers used to perform session hijacking. Keep your systems up to date by setting up automatic updates on all your devices.